Hi, do you know where the Student Resource Center is? Nope, no idea. So do you know where the Student Resource Center is? I know it's somewhere in the Union. I think maybe the West Wing. Well, do you know what it is? Do you know what services they provide? No, I don't at all. Okay, good afternoon. My name is Corey Bailey. I'm the director of the Student Engagement and Leadership Center. Uh, the center encompasses the Student Resource Center, which I know we're here to talk about today. Um, and just to give you some background as to what the center provides, um, there are a number of different services and opportunities that, are, that come through that center. Um, we have a set of computer labs. We have three computer labs that students can use at any time uh, throughout the day, throughout the year, um, to complete papers, to print out any paperwork they need for class, or to do any research that they need to do. We have a lounge area where we have students come in and just kind of hang out and get to know each other, have conversation, or take a break from their busy days. We also have space where there are actual tables, and so people can do more work if the computer lab is not what they need, but they want a space to maybe do some homework or again do more research, they can utilize those spaces as well. We have um, a family friendly room which is more geared for parents uh, or students who are parents. And so if you're a, f a mother or a father and you have a young one, you can come in and um, either breastfeed if they're an infant and store your milk in our refrigerator. Or if you're in the computer lab and you need some place for them to play while you're doing some work or any other work that you're doing in that space, they can play in the room. Um, so we have changing tables, we have toys, we have um, a rocking chair where uh, a mother or father can, you know, again, breastfeed or put their child to sleep if they need to. Um, we also have just general things that go on in that space. And it used to be where we had programming going on in that space. We've no longer done that or we've done away with that because we want to make sure that this space is open to anyone at any given time. There are very few times throughout the year where we will actually close the space. When those times happen, it's really more for staff development reasons and so the members of my staff may be coming together um, to do some, some training or, you know, kind of do some retreat kind of activities and so we need access to the space. But that's, you know, once or twice a semester at the most. But Monday through Friday, 8 a.m., 5 p.m., and sometimes even further, uh, beyond 5 p.m., we're open and we welcome any student that wants to come in. Um, we also, what I forgot to mention, is we also have individual offices um, that represent some of our other programming areas. And so the Student Engagement and Leadership Center not only includes the Student Resource Center, but it includes Greek Life, it includes the Campus Activities Board, Rainbow Minor Initiative, Leadership Development, and Registered Student Organizations. And so the Rainbow Minor Initiative and Inclusion and Advocacy, which is another area I forgot to mention, there are two offices that are housed there currently. Um, up until the middle of this month, the Women's Health Initiative, which is a grant that the university has been awarded um, since 2009, they're also housed in the Student Resource Center. And so the, uh, the student interns and the full-time professional who oversees the grant, they work in that space as well. So there's a lot that comes with that space. Um, the question about why we moved from the Women's Resource Center to this new name of the Student Resource Center, it's a, long, it's a longer explanation than I think is necessary or you'd want me to provide right now. But it, in a nutshell, it boiled down to one simple thing for us. How many students are we reaching or how many students are we not reaching when we have the title of the Women's Resource Center? The Women's Resource Center was created to empower women to be strong students to be strong women in the community. It was a space where we addressed issues that were relevant to the population of women on our campus and in El Paso. Um, it was an advocacy center, a center where people can come and get information about anything related to health or sexual transmitted diseases or anything like that. And so there came a point though where the department or I was asked to kind of take a look at the department um, and examine what we do and what we don't do. And this charge came in uh, October 20, 2011, 
it was about three months into my time here because I started here in July 2011 and um, in October of that year I was asked to kind of take a look, long hard look at the organization and at that point the question was asked is the Women's Resource Center title um, is it exclusionary is it something where um, young men feel like maybe they're not welcome is it inclusive enough of a title that that would that would really uh, resonate with students of all types and and we came to find out that it's not exactly as inclusive as we would want um, so we decided that we want to go with a much more inclusive title the student resource center we maintain the functionality of the women's resource center while changing the title because it's much more inclusive when we say student only